Africa is a big continent, and it's arguably one of the richest. This continent is abundant in natural resources such as gold, oil, diamonds, and a lot more. Almost every country in Africa is brimming with natural resources. However, that's not everything the continent has to offer. The entire continent contains a lot of undiscovered secrets and many mysteries to unveil. Africa has a rich and diverse culture. In fact, there have been a few discoveries that remain a mystery until today. From the Bakoni tribe of South Africa to mystery alien boxes, here are 15 unsettling discoveries in Africa nobody can explain. Number 15. Bakoni Tribe, South Africa The ruins left by the ancient Bakoni tribe is one of the most mysterious ruins in South Africa. Slopes, terraces, stone walls, and settlements left by this tribe are left across the modern town of Machadadorp, and for many years, little was known about them. These ruins and enigmatic stone walls have ignited controversy and heated debate over the years. It was said that the Bakoni tribe inhabited these settlements about 200,000 years ago, or maybe even far older. Historians believe that studying these ruins can change the origin of mankind. The Bakoni ruins are considered to be remnants of Africa's lost city. The ruins may be the one to prove that a tribe flourished in South Africa long before colonization. Because they're visible from space, there are many claims proposing that these alleged settlements are alien communication devices, left behind either by our ancestors or by aliens themselves. Some historians claim that the ruins may even be huge astrological clocks. The Bakoni ruins have always been in Africa, and no one bothered to study them until recently. Today, there are still many speculations surrounding this settlement, and perhaps we'll never know the truth. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 14. City of Stone in Zimbabwe this is the arduous work of the ancestors of the Shona people that lived in Africa between the 11th and 15th centuries AD. The word Zimbabwe is actually a Shona name that can be translated to houses of stone. Fittingly enough, the Great Zimbabwe, or the City of Stone, contains stone enclosures with walls as tall as 36 feet. Today, this is very easy to build, but people back then didn't have any mortar available. Just like the pyramids found all over the world, the city stone of Zimbabwe yet again proves that we should give more credit to our ancestors. Even still, these stone walls led to the debate of historians all over the world. There isn't much known about Great Zimbabwe. Most of the records found about this city date to the 16th century, a period after the whole place was largely abandoned, although there is one definite fact regarding this place. When European explorers arrived at the site in the early 19th and 20th century, they took some artifacts from the ruins of Great Zimbabwe and claimed that the lost city was built not by Africans, but by Phoenicians or other groups from Asia or Europe. In reality, the people of Zimbabwe have been aware of the existence of these ruins since the very beginning, and their predecessors were the ones that built this city of stones. Today, this place is considered to be a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and it's considered to be one of the national symbols of the modern-day country of Zimbabwe. In fact, the country embraced this uncovered settlement so much so that the nation was the one that adopted the name Zimbabwe in 1980, and they even included the bird artifact found in the archaeological site in their flag. Despite this fact, much of the site is still unexcavated. Archaeologists have many theories regarding the City of Stone. Some say that the folks before built the site on a hilltop so that they can perform rainmaking rituals. Regardless, the Great Zimbabwe shows how amazing the past tribes of Africa were. Number 13. Leti Jaw It's amazing how a single piece of fossil can easily shake the foundations of the origins of mankind historians and archaeologists carefully organized. In 2013, archaeologists discovered the oldest human fossil in Ethiopia. It's a piece of human jaw called the Leti Jaw, which could have belonged to the stem for the Homo genus, the first of our ancestors. Many hominid remains have been discovered all around the world, and scientists have been carefully analyzing each one to create a map of the evolution of our ancestors. After careful analysis and studies, archaeologists found that the Leti jaw is between 2.75 to 2.8 million years old. This means that it belonged to the first ever human ever found, predating the prior oldest known human fossil more than 400 millennia. 
It's quite amazing that just one fossil managed to push back our ancestor's family tree by thousands of years. The jaw has the characteristics of a primitive human, with teeth shaped like ours, but with a chin and slope that of an ape. Despite knowing the age of the Luddy jaw, little is known about the time period when it lived. Still today, their time is poorly understood. Number 12. Swana City Johannesburg, also known as Jazi, or 6 Law Zero the City of Gold is the largest city in South Africa, and aside from its sheer size, it also holds one of the ancient lost cities in the continent. Archaeologists dug up the long-lost ancient Swana city near Johannesburg that was home to 10,000 people in the 15th century. It was originally discovered between the 1970s and the 1980s, but at the time, no one realized their importance. All they knew was that they could have been settlements used by the people that lived there in the past. Fast forward to 2018, and scientists equipped with modern-day laser tech managed to reveal a huge city. The incredible site was hidden underground for centuries. This site alone is one of the several large settlements occupied by the Tswana speakers that roamed and flourished in Africa, years before the first European travelers ever stepped foot in the area. However, the Tswana city scattered all across Africa suffered under the Defakane, which was a historical period of heightened military conflict and migration. During that period, many cities were abandoned and many people perished. Models and laser images of this town have been reproduced thanks once again to modern technology, but there are still many things left to be discovered in the history of this place. Number 11. Lalabella Churches of Ethiopia While the Great Pyramid is a very impressive architectural feat, perhaps one of the most amazing structures left behind by our ancestors is the Lalabella Churches in Ethiopia. Unlike the pyramids in Egypt, not many people know about these churches. These establishments were created by carefully carving them out of a huge stone block. The people didn't use any bricks, concrete, lumber, or mortar. Yes, that's right. This church is created by months to years of carving and sculpting using ancient tools. 800 years ago, one king of Ethiopia ordered a new capital to be created for Christians. After his command, 11 churches stand in the central plateau of Ethiopia, standing at 8,000 feet, perfect to worship God. Not much is known about who built them or how long they worked on this establishment. Of course, many resorted to the divine explanation saying that the churches of Lalabella were carved by the angels of God himself. The architecture of the churches is truly astounding. Each side is adorned by Christian marks, and the details on the doors and windows are very charming. It's hard to imagine that this monolith church was created by people thousands of years ago. The sheer size of the churches are also impressive, with the largest of the 11 churches covering around 8,000 square feet of land, with each one being four stories tall. Because of how amazing the construction of these churches are, many people from around the world travel there to pray and express their belief. Number 10. Lake Natron An alleged lake that turns animals into stone? That's the mystery surrounding Lake Natron in Africa. This lake is located in the Arusha district of Tanzania. Its very name will give you an idea about the lake's origins. The word natron is an amalgamation of the chemicals hydrate sodium carbonate and sodium bicarbonate. The environment in the lake makes this one of the most interesting and mysterious natural phenomena to explore. The lake looks ordinary from afar, but once you venture closer, you'll see a red crust covering the lake's surface. This is caused by the microorganisms found in the mineral-rich water of the lake. The nearby volcanic hills, which were very active back in the day, feed the lake. The water is about 40 degrees Celsius, and it has a very high salt content, making this lake almost inhabitable for many animals roaming around Tanzania. During the dry season, the salt content causes an astounding phenomena where every creature left in its area is petrified. In fact, this phenomenon has been the subject of many videographers and photographers across the world. Unlike lakes and rivers found in the expanse of Africa, Lake Natron is unforgiving for the weak. The pH level of the lake can be as high as ammonia, which can easily burn the skin and eyes of any animal that isn't used to its waters. Although you'd be surprised that the lake is still one of the best nesting and resting places flamingos choose. Number 9. White Lady of Africa the White Lady of Africa is a name given to a rock painting located on a small rock hidden within the Brandberg Mountain Damaraland in Namibia. This painting has long been considered to be an archaeological dilemma, 
and several different theories about the origins and meaning of the painting have been proposed by several archaeologists. The painting portrays several human figures as well as oryxes. The painting got its name because the White Lady is the most detailed human figure in the group. It was first discovered in 1918 by a German explorer, and his first initial theory is that it depicts a warrior hunting. Another theory proposed to explain the painting is that it shows some sort of ritual dance where the White Lady stands as the shaman given that she had white legs and arms, which suggests she may be covered in paint. Number 8. Stone Circles of Senegambia It may look like usual stones to you, but the Stone Circles of Senegambia are the largest group of megalithic stones recorded anywhere in the world. These amazing stone circles are scattered all around the area, with some of them found in Gambia, while some are found in Senegal. Overall, there are 1,053 stone circles comprising 28,931 monoliths. The Stonehenge is impressive, but imagine how hard it was and how many people it took to place these 10-ton stones ranging from 1 to 2.5 meters high. We may know little about these stones, but they reflect a prosperous and highly organized society that lived between 3rd century BC and 16th century AD. Most of these stones were erected near burial sites, so these stone circles may have been part of an ancient ritual for the dead. Number 7. Blue Stones or Stones of the Sky Blue is one of the rarest colors in nature. Just think about it. Aside from the vast expanse of the sky, blue rarely occurs in the environment. There are few organisms in the color blue, and most of the time, these blue organisms have developed some unique features that use the science of light. Africa is no stranger to gems, diamonds, and precious stones, but the sky stone is perhaps one of the most beautiful stones found in the continent. The sky stone has a vibrant electric blue shade, and it's its most notable characteristic. It was reportedly discovered in 1990 by archaeologists in Sierra Leone, West Africa. Legends believe that the stones were actually once beings that lived in the sky, but because of repeated sins, they were turned into stones by God and casted away on earth to remain buried in the soil, a stark contrast to the privilege they once had up in the skies. After careful analysis, scientists found out that the stone is made up of 77% oxygen, 20% carbon, and has traces of lime and silicone. The composition of the stone was enough to tell them that the local legends may actually be true, but instead of beings, these rocks may be space rocks. Carbon dating showed that these stones arrived on Earth anywhere between 2,500 and 17,000 years ago. They may have fallen in several parts of our planet, and they've been found in different periods of time. But across all ages and periods, mankind that came across these sky stones treasured them and regarded them as highly valuable objects. The sky stone of Sierra Leone is truly unlike any gemstone known to man. What do you think this stone is? And do you think the sky stone can be traced back to extraterrestrial beings? Number 6. Getty in Kenya The ruins of Getty are historical and archaeological sites found in Kenya. It's one of the many medieval Swahili coastal settlements. The ruins were rediscovered by colonialists in the 1920s, and the ruins have been one of the most intensely excavated and studied sites in Africa. The whole settlement usually consists of stone walls, mosques, tombs, palaces, and houses made of stone. Despite the artifacts found in the ruins, still today, there's much to discover about the ancient people that once lived in the ruins. Number 5. Omo Bones of Ethiopia The Omo remains are bones discovered between 1967 and 1974 at the Omo Kibish sites in Omo National Park in southwestern Ethiopia. The bones date back to 195,000 years ago, and it's one of the earliest examples of our species. The Omo 1 skeleton is the partial skeleton recorded in the 1960s. It includes a skull, several pieces of bones from the upper limbs, and shoulder bones, as well as a few bone fragments from the hands and legs. A few artifacts were also found with Omo 1, including a variety of fossils that belong to birds. Because there were no written records regarding the time period when these ancient people lived, not much is known about them, and we can only rely on the discovered artifacts. And now it's time for today's topic. This is a very unsettling thing recently discovered in Africa that nobody can explain. Now you might be wondering what this thing is. Just from the metal casing and the scattered metal spears, you will immediately think that this is some sort of weapon. And you're definitely correct. 
This is a cluster munition. These explosives are designed to release miniature bombshells, and they can be launched in the air or underground. These destructive weapons can easily annihilate dozens of equipment and cause fatalities near its area of effect. Cluster munitions can also contain biochemical weapons or even landmines. The bomblets that cluster munitions release pose extreme threat to civilians that step on them even long after they're released. That's why if you ever spot one of these, you should always assume that the explosives are still active. Discussed termination in the photo in particular just appeared in the location overnight and no one even heard the munition fall down. Could this be a cluster munition that came from the two world wars? Or did this missile come from another source? What do you think? As always, comment down below with the hashtag today's topic and let us know your opinion about what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 4. Africa Splitting in Two In 2017, a disturbing theory circulated on the internet that shook many archaeologists and scientists around the world. The buzz was caused by a large crack that suddenly appeared in the Kenyan Rift Valley. From this picture, it's easy to imagine that the ground will suddenly split in two. The crack continues to grow day by day, and it even caused part of the nairobi narok Highway to collapse. Cracks on the ground are quite common. We all know that the Earth is ever-changing, and there was even a point in time when our ancestors lived where land bridges exist. After many years, the Earth became what we know today, but the land beneath our feet still continuously moves, slowly but surely. Millions of years from now, if the Earth still exists, that is, the continents won't be the same as today. Today, the massive crack is attributed by scientists to rifting, which is the splitting of land which takes millions of years to finish. First, a few cracks on the land will appear, but as years pass by, the crust will begin to sink and water will start to overtake the area where land once existed. Number 3. West African Voodoo We have all seen voodoo being portrayed in media and some occult flicks, but did you know that it's really a practice done in West Africa? Because of what the mainstream media tells us, voodoo remains to be the world's most secretive and misunderstood religion. When I mention the word voodoo, I bet you'd imagine dolls, needles, cauldrons, and pins. Notice that these visualizations don't differ much from witchcraft. Many think voodoo is a violent religion, often practiced to cause harm upon others and nothing more. In movies, voodoo is used to inflict harm upon others. But this can't be more wrong. Voodoo is widely practiced in Benin, West Africa. It's a way of life which includes wonderful culture, philosophy, art, dance, music, and medicine. The supreme being in voodoo is called Mahao, and along with this being are 100 more divinities which represent many of the things in the world, including lightning, storms, water, and earth. The duty of the voodoo priests is to ask these divinities for intervention. For instance, the priest can perform a ritual to intervene on behalf of the ordinary people. People that practice voodoo in reality do nothing like sticking needles into dolls to cause misfortune. Although it's true that they sometimes use offerings such as sheep or chicken to appease the divinities. Their rituals can be used for many things. Some priests perform a ritual to cure someone of a disease, pray for good health, for healthy kids, or even to find a job. Indeed, voodoo is a mysterious yet amazing ritual that's shrouded in misconceptions. Number 2. Sacred Crocodile Performing stunts with crocodiles is nothing new. You'll see tons of attractions everywhere in the world where people risk themselves to perform some cheeky tricks with tamed crocs. Some people are even brave and confident enough to stick their heads inside the giant reptile's mouth and survive unscathed. But these things are merely performed to please the public, and nothing more. The story is different in a village in Africa where they perform rituals to crocodiles. For the people in Burkina Faso in Africa, the crocodiles living in its pond are considered to be sacred. You'd be surprised to see people sitting atop the deadliest and most cunning predators in the animal kingdom. The village shares their pond to about 100 of these fearsome predators. According to the locals, they got used to swimming with the crocodiles and sharing the water with them ever since they were kids. This practice was passed on from generation to generation until the existence of crocodiles is nothing more like the existence of the many monkeys in Thailand. Now the origin of this practice is quite mysterious. According to local legends, in the 15th century, the people in the village were dying one by one because of a massive drought. With no water, they were sure to perish. However, the crocodiles led the women to a hidden pond where the people of the village were able to quench their thirst. 
This is the reason why they chose to flourish and live with the sacred crocodiles for the next years to come. The people in the village believe that the crocs are their past ancestors and that no matter what, the reptiles won't harm them. Each year they celebrate and give offerings to the reptiles to thank them. Number 1. Mystery Alien Boxes Recently, 24 alien boxes were discovered near Egypt's pyramids of Giza. The boxes weigh more than 100 tons and they're made out of solid Aswan granite. The skill put into the creation of the boxes is extremely impressive. It was so remarkable that some experts even suggested that the boxes couldn't have been made by an ancient civilization like the Egyptians. Instead, the boxes may have been left by ancient alien species that visited Earth thousands of years ago. The boxes do contain some hieroglyphics, but unlike the cut of the stone, the inscriptions were so sloppy that they looked nothing more but graffiti added by people. Today, the box still remains to be a mystery, and no one knows its origin, its purpose, or who created it. What do you think of these discoveries? Have you ever had a chance to visit a country in Africa? If so, what's the most interesting experience you had on your visit? Let us know about your thoughts and experience in the comments down below. If you happen to know other mysterious discoveries in Africa, don't hesitate to drop a comment as well. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.